Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fallen here for Spunnik Entertainment, and today we're taking a look at Boosteroid. Now, Boosteroid is another cloud streaming service for games. Now, we have previously taken a look at NVIDIA Now. Now, Boosteroid is a similar competitor to them, but they're mostly based out of Europe, so it's, this is great for people who are watching this that are based in the European region. Although, personally, with our personal testing is that uh, if you have a good enough internet, you can use this in the United States. They're not blocking you from using it in the United States, but right now it's optimized for European users due to their server location, which we're going to take a look in a minute. So if you want to follow along or if you want to go afterwards, go to boosteroid.com and you get the greeted with this homepage, cloud gaming platform, no more hardware up upgrades or no more downloads, play your favorite games in browser, subscribe now, run games in cloud, and they're doing full HD 1080p streaming. So it's not 4K, but maybe one day they'll get to it. And you can buy it as cheap as 416 euros a month. Uh, normal pricing is 15 euros a month if you want to go month to month basis. And you can take a look at some of the popular games that people play right now. Uh, World of Tanks, Witcher, GTA 5, Fortnite, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, PUBG, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Overwatch, and Devil May Cry 5. Now, similar to NVIDIA Now, they're adding games constantly. Now, I've been playing with them for a few months, and I've definitely seen more and more games be added. One of the popular uh, games that have been added is Fall Guys. So if your computer is not strong enough to run Fall Guys, you can definitely give it a shot using Boosteroid. Now, some games you can actually see on Boosteroid that are not available on NVIDIA now and vice versa. So I'm not saying it's a full substitute. You should go one way or another. Uh, some people might want to have both services running uh, for $10 a month. If you subscribe on a yearly basis to Boosteroid, you, like I said, you get both uh, the best of both worlds. Of course, some games might be repetitive, but you have that option. Now, another option or another difference between Boosteroid and NVIDIA now is that in a Boosteroid runs 100% in your Chrome browser or your web browser. They do not have a client at this point in time. Um, I have my own personal opinion on it, but I would love to hear if you guys think that it's a better option or it uh, you would prefer to have a client versus just going through the website. Your device are power. Enjoy AAA games from any device and let our powerful remote, remote servers do the rest. Direct access. Do not waste your time on downloading or installations. Pick a game and run instantly. There are plenty of cool games available in our collection. As I mentioned to you guys, they're constantly adding new games to the catalog. Cross-platform. PC, Mac, laptop, tablet. Use what's your fingerprint or fingertips. Get app or play in browser. So the app is actually, I do believe, is available for mobile devices, Android and iOS. And all you do is you hook up a controller to your mobile device and that's how you play. Want to learn more? Learn about our technology, which we're going to take a look at. And they have some pretty strong partners, uh, Huawei, Intel, Asus, NVIDIA and Binbox. I'm not familiar with the last one. And of course, uh, most of you guys will be familiar with the first four. And of course, if you have any questions, you can reach out to them at support at boosteroid.com. You guys can take a look at their FAQs, stay in touch with them on social and who they are. Now let's jump into the technology section. Cloud gaming technology, online streaming Boosteroid experience. Games are stored, launched, and processed on Boosteroid remote servers located in world-class data centers. You receive an interactive video stream back to your device. So running a high-end software is as easy for your device as a video playback. Every move, every mouse click make, uh, make is encoded. Send it to our service, process, send it back to you, and decode it. It all happens instantly, so do not... Uh, you do not even notice the actual servers that process your game is located many miles away. Now, of course, that could be a case if you are in the United States and you are trying to use their service. There might be some input lag, some input delay, some quality drops. I'm not based out of Europe, so I cannot fully comment on it. But if you have tried Boosteroid and you're based out of Europe, I would love to hear your thoughts on Boosteroid and how smoothly it's running out there. Now, I do believe they're headquartered out of France and they have some of their servers located uh, elsewhere.
your device powered by Boosteroid Data Center's remote Boosteroid servers. So this is how it kind of fully operates. So you send an input and it goes to their servers, a game renders, captures and encodes and goes back to your computer or device and then that's how it's de uh, decoded. Boosteroid Experience, it's our own software solution for video encoding and allows us to provide you with 60 FPS, uh, 1080p streaming and even more. And let's just jump into their FAQ sections. I'm not going to go over it, all of it, but I just wanted to point this out. Boosteroid is available in Europe. Right now, our main servers are located in Romania and uh, Bucharest. Uh, however, thanks to our partnership with Microsoft and server purchase plans, Boosteroid will cover almost all of Europe by the end of 2020. If Boosteroid is not available in your region yet, Please subscribe for our newsletter and follow or follow us on social media networks to stay updated. So uh, if you are having issues and you are based out in Europe, uh, they're promising that uh, your region will be covered in the near future. Uh, now, hopefully that will be the case, but at least you can give it a shot right now and see if you like the software. Um, now, you do still need to own the game. Um, it's not like they hook you up with games on top of the subscriptions. You still need to have it similar to NVIDIA now. Just link your either your Epic account, your Steam account, um, your uh, EA Games account, whatever you're using, and it updates your library. But let's speaking of the library, let's take a look at it, and that's where we're going to end today's video. So if you sign up for an account, this is what you're actually greeted with. Uh, Boosteroid Beta, this is your profile. You can do a speed test and you can take a look at a particular title or search for a particular title you might want to play. And as I told you guys, Fall Guys has recently been added to them. Um, and you see some of the other popular games that are being played right now, like Fortnite and Horizon Zero Dawn. And of course, you can sort it by top. Of course, Fortnite being the first one, GTA, followed by CSGO. Um, you can also see your games that you have also linked to your account. You can also see the ones they have recently added, uh, such as Remnant from the Ashes, Troy, Fall Guys as being one of the newer ones, uh, 2K20, um, Death Stranding, Sea of Thieves, uh, GTA V, Halo, Just Cause, Doom Eternal. Uh, we can keep going forever. But similar to NVIDIA now, they're constantly updating the library. Um, they're seeing what's popular, what's not. Of course, they don't want to add every single game out there, uh, nor do they uh, possibly probably can add every single game because they have to make sure that it's possible to encode using their servers. But they have a wide variety of popular games like Rust, Apex Legends, even Minecraft. Um, I'm not sure why would you want to stream Minecraft, but you also see games like Ark, Mafia 3, Dying Light, uh, Overwatch, PUBG, uh, Hearthstone, Dota, uh, StarCraft series, Division. Now, also another thing, Hitman 2, among others. Now, they do advertise the amount of games that they support, and also they mention to you the amount of free games. I definitely want to comment on that. So uh, by what they mean by free games is that the free games that are available to anybody, uh, like Team, Fro uh, Team Fortress 2 being one of them. It's not like they hook you up with games. Once again, I want to emphasize that. Brawlhalla is another free game. Um, it's a World of Warships, of course, another free game. So they support a lot of free games. That doesn't mean that you get to stream them for free. You still need to pay for the subscription. Now, in addition, part of it, they have demos of games uh, like Dishonored 2. Uh, let's scroll a little bit more. Uh, Doom. Uh, I want to see if we can come across any other demos as we scroll through. Uh, Fallout, Shart uh, Fallout Shelter is another free uh, full game. Um, Heroes of the Storm. I want to find another demo. Let's see if we can come across one. Uh, Shadows of Kepler demo. So that's, I feel like, might be a little bit deceiving, especially for people who are not familiar with the service. Uh, and they do have a full on free section. Um, now, if you do try to play it, it's not going to work. You do still need to have a subscription for it available. 
So what do I think about it? I definitely like this service. I've used it for about a month. Um, like I said, being based in the United States, I have uh, experienced some input lag from it, especially mostly I tried to play Call of Duty um, because everybody was on the Call of Duty bandwagon, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. That was what I was playing. And I still get to experience the game, but I'm sure it's nowhere near uh, if you're playing it on your computer or if you're playing in a console. I definitely was experiencing a lot of lag and a lot of delays, and I do have a pretty good and stable internet connection. Um, so if you, like I said, if any questions, definitely let me know. I'll try to answer them in the comment section below. I would love to hear what your experience like has been with Boosteroid. I know that they're doing a lot of promotions with popular YouTubers. And I think that's how I discovered it in the first place. I don't want to make it seem that um, it's like I magically have came across it. Uh, I was watching a YouTube video and it was brought up into my, into my feed. Um, and since then, I gave it a shot and coming and sharing it with a few of you as well. So I definitely think it's a wonderful option, especially uh, once again, if you're based out of Europe, give it a shot and let me know what you think of it. If you want to stay in touch with me on social, all the social links are in the description of this video. If you want to join the notification squad and know when the new video drops, you guys can definitely do that by clicking subscribe and the bell notification like a true YouTuber plug. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.